In this lesson, I'm going to talk about location extensions and tied into that are local search ads. Uh, most people call them map ads. Google calls them local search ads. So I'm gonna show you all of this now. This is what a location extension is going to look like on a search ad. You can see the phone number is sometimes included. Um, sometimes it'll show the hours of the business, but it's always going to show uh, an address or at least a city. If you click on that address, that'll then take you to this type of page. So it's going to show the business. Um, and you're still going to be on Google. It's going to show them the, the business in Google Maps. And then it'll have the business information here, the website address, a phone number. Now, it's important to note that this phone number is not going to be a tracking number. This is going to be the business's phone number from their Google My Business account. Um, I'll talk a little more about that later, but just know that once someone clicks over from a location extension and they go to the, the map, we can no longer track that phone call if they're going to call this number. These ads also show up in Google Maps. So if someone searches a business directly in Google Maps, you see there are two ads here showing up. These are the local search ads. So in order for local search ads to display, you need to have the location extension added in your campaign. If someone clicks the local search ad here, same thing, it'll take them to the, the business page here and it'll give them this business information. Also, if you were to scroll down here, you'd see additional photos and reviews for the business. So not necessarily a bad place for someone to go. But again, be aware that the phone number here, you will not be able to track these calls. On mobile, the location extension is going to look like this. So uh, if you clicked on this icon right here, it'll take you actually to the Google Maps app on your phone so you can get directions to the business. If you click this part right here, it's going to open up this, uh, this page for the business. Again, it'll give you some information about the business, but we're not going to be able to track those phone calls. This is what the map ads look like on mobile. And this is actually part of the Google search. So below the, the paid ads or sometimes above the, the text ads that look like this, you're going to see this map pack. You see there's one ad right here. In order for this ad to show, you need to have the location extension added in your campaign. If you click on this ad, it's going to open up a page that looks like this. Now I want to point out these different clicks I've been talking about. So here's an actual example of an ad with location extensions enabled. You can see uh, most of the clicks are on the headline of the ad. The mobile click to call gets a, a good number of clicks. This is people who see the call button in the mobile ad and they just are placing that phone call right away. Um, you can see site links get some clicks. Driving directions hardly get any clicks. So this was back here, this little icon here. If someone clicks this, this is a driving directions click. And you can see by the data, hardly anybody clicks that, so it's not a, a big concern. What is a potential concern is the bottom line here, the get location details. So if someone's clicking on the address, I mentioned that it takes them to a, a page still within Google, and we are no longer able to track 
those phone calls. So that's why you see such a high cost per conversion here. Now that doesn't necessarily mean the cost per conversion is that high. In fact, there are probably a lot of calls coming from, from these clicks. But unfortunately, Google has not enabled us to track them. I point this out just so that you are aware. If you're using location extensions, you are going to see a, a lot of clicks on the get location details and very few conversions. That doesn't mean there aren't any conversions coming in. It just means you aren't able to track those. So you can weigh the pros and cons of having the location uh, extension, which enables your ad to show up in the map pack versus not having a location extension. If you don't have a location extension, you don't have to worry about all these get location details clicks. I would argue that usually the benefits of having the location extension outweigh the disadvantage of not being able to track those conversions. You just need to remain aware of this issue so you know to expect a high cost per conversion for these types of clicks. So let me show you how to set these up. So when you first go to add a location extension, it'll ask you to, to find an account or link to an account. And this has to be an account that you are linked to in Google My Business. If it's your own campaign, it should be showing up here already. If you're setting up a campaign for a client, you need to make sure they have added you to their Google My Business account. You can search a domain name here to pull up the business, or you can go to the link here, and then that should, uh, that should allow you to select your Google My Business account, and then it will list all of the potential accounts that you can add. So click Continue. It'll list all the accounts that are linked to Google My Business, um, I've grayed them out here, but you should see a list right here. Then you need to click limit the locations that are synced with Google Ads. Type in the business name specific to the campaign that you are adding the extension for. And then that should pull up a specific business because you only want to make sure your ad is showing for it the specific business that you're running the campaign for. Or excuse me, you only want to make sure the location extension is showing for the specific business you're running the campaign for. When you click finish then, that'll save your location extension. So a couple guidelines. Um, I would only use this extension if you have a physical location that you want people to come to. In the past, I have recommended setting up a location extension regardless of whether you have a physical location or not. Um, and I recommended that so that it would make your ad very obvious that you were a local business within the city that the person was doing their search in. But because of the tracking issues, I don't think that's a good idea anymore. I think it is important to show your address if it's the type of business someone would go to. But if it's not a business people would actually go to, I don't recommend adding a location extension. The second point here, make sure a Google Ads tracking number is added in Google My Business. I show you how to do this in the tracking module. Now, even though the, the phone, even though the tracking number gets lost once someone clicks on the address, before they click on that address, that phone number that shows next to the address, that can actually be a tracking number. But you need to add this, you need to add a phone number in the Google My Business 
uh, in the Google Ads box in order for that to show our tracking number. So uh, make sure that you add the Google Ads tracking number inside Google My Business and you should use a dedicated phone number for that tracking number that you're not using for anything else. And then lastly, as I've mentioned several times, phone calls will not always be tracked in Google Ads. So if people are clicking your location extension address, they're going to the Google Maps listing, you will not be able to track those calls. So yes, it's, it's not a good thing. I wish we could track those. Um, but if you have a physical business that people are coming to, I do still think it's a good idea to use a location extension and then just be aware that not all of those phone calls are going to be tracked. So that is the lesson on location extensions.